hoping to save a few extra dollars, some citizens are talking about stocking up on gasoline, kerosene and diesel in large quantities at home before the price hike on Tuesday. But the president of the Petroleum Dealers Cooperative, Derek Joseph, is advising against this. There's no reason to stop fuel, um, especially um, with people with lots of children and so on. You don't want to have something like that around and a child drinks it in error. Um, or or, or um, it is stored in such a way that it can cause a fire. So one should not try to do anything that they have not normally done because it's stuck up how many gallons of fuel you're going to stock up. And, you know, it's not, it don't make sense. You're not going to make any savings. Joseph says price increases were not confined to Trinidad and Tobago alone, but globally as well. He says citizens have to be more productive, find ways to cut costs, and get prepared for further increases in the future. And retired fire station officer Keith Seberan also took to Facebook today to warn people not to take chances with stocking fuel. Seberan, who spent several decades in the Trinidad and the Tobago Fire Service, says he decided to put out a public notice after hearing that people were planning to store fuel at home. The vapors are very flammable, so any ignition source could ignite it. Therefore, putting your risk, your family and house at risk. Where, where, where will you be storing it? Would you be storing it under a step in a room? That kind of stuff are referring to. Plus, why would you want to buy gas and put it down? It doesn't make sense. It's just a dollar a litre. Citizens are also being asked not to panic by this weekend. Radically Silver, CNC3 News.